Anytime you feel like giving yourself or family a delicious treat, there are countless cake recipes to choose from, especially at this festive season. You can't go wrong with chocolate cake, red velvet cake, Italian cream cake, and so many more. You're watching Baker's World on 98. I am Funke Oyeyele. On this episode, we'll be showing you how to make a stunning cake that is so easy to make with just a few ingredients. Our guest is an amiable baker and a businesswoman. We'll get to know much more about her in our interview session with her. We also have for you today, Baker's Gist. It's a new segment where we'll bring you all you need to know about tools, ingredients and all the happenings in the cake making industry. Please relax and enjoy the show as it promises to be very exciting. We're here at the baker's shop with our baker, Ola Yemi, to pick some of the tools and ingredients we're going to be needing to prepare our black forest cake. Now, let's go around and pick some of the things we need. What do we need? We need baking powder. Uh, baking powder, okay. What else? Then baking soda. Okay, it's baking soda. Then chocolate for decoration. And then we need whipped cream. All right. Our major ingredient. What about flavor? Do we need yes, flavor? We need flavor. All right. What type do we should we pick? We need vanilla flavor. Okay. Yeah. Is one okay? Yes. All right. What else do we need? Okay, we need the icer. This one? The cake icer, yes. Is this, is this the icer? Yes, this All the right. cake icer. Do we need this? Yes. Okay. Definitely. All right. For mixing, so we need the piping bag. All right. And a comb. Okay. What then else? Our chocolate. We I need it. We already picked the chocolate. We need our chocolate. Okay, big bar of chocolate. Oh, yeah. seeds there. Let's the go back. Bag. Is there any other thing? Let's set the ball rolling as our baker, Olayemi, and our assistant, Dorothy, will show us the procedure of how to make a yummy black forest cake. This cake will be decorated with whipped cream frosting cherry toppings and chocolate shavings. Now, if you're ready, let's get started. I will start by measuring our hot water. Add our seasoned oven. And mix. So, after mixing it properly, we have to set it aside and allow it to cool a little bit. We continue by mixing our dry ingredients together. We add the flour. Ready and 
have our butter in here now we are taking it into the oven and it's going to bake for like 20 or 25 minutes While our cake is at the oven, we'll take a quick break here and when we return, we'll have a nice chat with our guest today. Our guest to Baker's World is an accountant, a baker and a savvy businesswoman. Born 9th and June in the city of Akure, Ondo State, Olayemi Akiola, attended St. Louis Grammar School, Akure, where she earned her secondary school leaving certificate. She attended Lagos State Polytechnic, Ikorodu, where she obtained ordinary national diploma degree in accountant studies. Pursuing further, she backed Bachelor of Science degree in accountant at the Lagos State University. Olayemi, who hailed from Akure town in Ondo State, began her first job working experience in an audit firm in Okbebi Allen Avenue, Lagos, as an accountant for a while. With a strong passion for the culinary art from her days in the university, she started baking from her kitchen just to keep busy when she relocated to Abuja and also made little earnings from it. As the demand for her cakes increased, Olayami realized it was time to get formal training in the art of cake making and sugar craft, as this will enable her to acquire varieties of the latest recipes trending. Olayami believes there is always room for improvement. Thus, she attended various cake training in Nigeria. She is married and blessed with children. Today, Olayami is the proud owner of a cake business and sugar craft center. And Miss Ronia. You're welcome back. You're still watching Baker's World on NTA. Our guest is right here with me, Mrs. Olayemi Akiola. Madam, you're welcome to Baker's World. Thank you. Let's talk about how you started in the cake making business. Because I know you studied accounting. How did you come about cake making? I actually love to be an accountant, a professional accountant anyway. And I have already started some professional exams before I came to Abuja. But on coming to Abuja, I have to put my family first. I thought about my children. I didn't want anything that would take me out of the house so much. I wanted to do a business and let it be a business that I can do within the home. Okay. Has there ever been a point where, you know, your accounting degree has um, come very useful in the business? To a very large extent, at least in keeping my records, my book records and doing my costing, you know, the experience I have as an accountant and I've worked in an audit firm, so I was able to put all my books and my records in place. It has really helped me a lot. Let's talk about your first rookie mistake. What was it? And how did you learn from it? The one I cannot forget is when I bake, actually baked for a neighbor. I think she told me late or probably, I, I can't remember, but the cake got spoiled the following day. What happened? <laughs> I've been baking cake, I've never experienced this kind of a thing, so I now later realized that I covered the cake when it was still very hot with oh, fondant. Okay. So by the second day, it was already spoiled and drawing. I had to apologize and bake another cake. <laughs> <laughs> so, now that we've talked about your rookie mistake, what has been your proudest moment in this business? Well, my proudest moment is when um, a customer has to call me back and say, oh, that your cake is so nice, people love your cake, it's so yummy, wow, everybody likes the cake. I think that's my proudest moment. We know customers are not always the same. There are some times that, you know, customer will come and they'll complain, oh, I don't like the cake you make for me, oh, this, that. For some reason, you know, some customers complain. How do you usually go about resolving different conflicts with your customers so you could keep the relationship or how do you go about resolving this with them? In most cases what I do is I just tell them, well, I'm sorry if you feel that way but maybe something happened along the line. There's actually one that told me that later came to tell me that I was sorry I actually had malaria 
that time I ate your cake, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, I said, okay, it's fine. There are some people that would love to start a cake making business such as yourself. What advice would you give them? There's no shortcut to, to perfection. It has to be through con con constant practice. Oh, and that's in terms of training. What about when they want to set up their shop or their where they want to start the business? In terms of tools and uh, what they should start with, what are the basic equipment that you would advise them to start with? You know, you can just start with maybe a few things, maybe your mixer, your small oven, and from there you keep on buying your tools and materials. That's a very good advice. Thank you so much for joining us on Baker's World. That was our conversation with the CEO of Emmy's Ronia Sugarcraft, Mrs. Olayemi Akiola. Well, our cake should be ready now. Let's go back to the kitchen and start the decoration. Make our whipped cream now. I have a whipped cream powder here and I have a very cold water to mix it. So <coughs> whipped cream. We have to use the mixer. Okay, so we're going to add our two cups of water very cold water. You can see there's ice blocking here.
this is our black forest cake covered with whipped cream and it's still decorated with chocolate, grated chocolate. We have berries and chocolate pops. Gist. Recently, a baker all the way from Lagos came to Abuja to train Abuja bakers on the new and latest technique in bread making. Now, let's watch that. Us how to use few ingredients and get good results out of it. Nice. It's 
was very very interesting educating and a lot of tips were given a lot of secrets were actually given issues that i have had with bread all those issues have been taken care of today it just made everything better made it so easy after the class i have the plan plan of going to eat very well to make it commercial the recipe which is the major ingredient in bread making understand someone charging me a lot I've been battling to see if we can get standard bread in Lokoja. Most of the bread in Lokoja is being imported from Abuja. You understand? So I will see that there's no need of such that we are based businessmen in Lokoja that will not be able to get that standard. That's why I have to, despite my tie schedule, I have to squeeze to attend this project. Um, I discovered that a lot of people do bread productions but do not know exactly what it takes to make quality bread. Um, a lot of people also start and have lots of challenges along the line which will in turn make them close down and so on. And so I want to just show them the right path and so they won't have such challenges when they start. That's our package for you today on Baker's World. We will love your comments, feedbacks, and likes. You can email us on our Gmail account. It's Baker's World on NTA. You can also reach out to us on all our social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So we'll come your way next week with a more exciting and interesting episode. I am Funke Oyeri. Bye for now.